You know, barbecue takes a long time. I know a lot of you folks at home don't have all day to marinate things and grill slow and low and stuff like that. So this week on Kayfabe Kitchen, I'm opening up JR's cookbook again for something a little quicker. Anyone for dessert? This week, I'm making apple dumplings with chocolate syrup. Jim Ross says in the book it's his favorite dessert of all time, and who am I to argue with that? Let's give it a shot. Before starting the dumpling recipe, go to page 96 of the cookbook to find the recipe for sautéed cinnamon apples. You'll need apples, cinnamon, and sugar. Since I'm using fresh apples instead of canned, I'll need some butter as well. Melt the butter on a skillet at medium-low heat. Core and slice your apples and place on the skillet along with the cinnamon and sugar. Heat them up until the apples are soft. Fast forward to page 234 of the cookbook for the dumpling recipe. Along with the apples you just cooked, you'll need some nutmeg, a package of puff pastry shells, and chocolate syrup. Place the puff pastry shells on a baking sheet and follow the instructions on the packaging. Once they're lightly browned, remove the tops of the shells and fill them with the sautéed apples. Add a dash of nutmeg and close the pastries back up. Pour on the chocolate syrup and serve. Well, right off the bat, I have to say this is not my absolute favorite dessert I've made on k -Fib Kitchen. That distinction goes to Brother Love's Heavenly Fudge Squares I made several months back, but this is still a really good uh, recipe. I love the, the sensation of the warm, flaky crust with the also warm sautéed apples, and the, the apples were seasoned really well. The cinnamon and the sugar on there were very good. Uh, I used Fuji apples in my recipe. Uh, the recipe doesn't specify what kind you want to use, but you can use Granny Smith or Red Delicious or Gala or whatever other kind of apples out there. There's dozens to choose from, so you know whatever flavor you want, go for it. It'll probably affect um, how it tastes to you. So again, I like the, the, the contrast of the warm uh, puff pastry and the apples and the coolness of the chocolate syrup. Very tasty, very sweet. Ultimately, it's not my favorite recipe, but you guys might like it a lot more than me. So I think I did it correctly and it all worked out and I liked it. You know, again, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but uh, I, I hope you guys give it a try. And that's how you make JR's Granny's Apple Dumplings with Chocolate Syrup. For the complete recipe, visit the Resting with Regret Facebook page. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment below, subscribe to Wrestling With Regret, and buy the t-shirts at ProWrestlingTees.com. I'm Chef Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.